What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tina. Come on, tell them thank you. Listen, y'all, I was at the Goodwill. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I came across some stamps from Creative Memories, which is no longer in business, at the Goodwill. So, I brought home two sets that made me scream in the store. And look what I paid. 50 cents for one. $2.99 for the other. Now, you all, I have never really mounted stamps. And as you can see, this is just the rubber and it's unmounted, but they give you the piece. So, these are bugs. Insect. Insects. <laughs> I get my words twisted, but y'all know what I'm saying. So, you got the bee. You got two bees. You got a moth. You got a centipede. Well, I think it's three bees. This is a bee, this is a bee, and that's a bee. And I guess this is just a bug. I don't know what kind of... I don't know. But I do have a thing for bugs. I don't know about the... <laughs> Why am I saying that? But I'm kind of attracted to the bug stamps. So when I saw these, I was like, Oh, Lord, no. I got to have that. So you have to mount them yourself. Now, I don't know if you're supposed to cut these first and then put them on the stamp. Or do you put this on the stamp first and then cut them? I think I'm going to try to cut this first. Because I know you're supposed to trim, trim, like trim them out. All right. I don't know if I'm going to mess it up or not, but we're going to try to just trim and i don't even know why i'm doing this with y'all should have been doing it off camera but so if you know anything about mounting stamps you let me know what i did wrong because uh, to be honest with you it this made me re be reminded that when i went to viva stamps in las vegas some years back i bought some unmounted rubber stamps red rubber and that's making me gotta go back and find out what did i do with them stamps because they were not mounted but i did buy the phone to mount them but i never did so i need to go look in this room and see okay so this is one that i cut out this is the piece of the cut out so i don't know should I try to put this on here and trim it again? Maybe I'll wait. Let's trim the other ones. So, yeah, this reminded me of those stamps that I bought from Viva. And I think it was like five pounds of rubber stamps for $20. It was like sheets and sheets of these just different images and it's like you didn't know what the images were because they was all in a plastic bag um but i bought i bought them and i never did mount those stamps so this is my official first time trying to mount stamps again if you've done this before or you know how it's supposed to go please leave it in the comments don't leave your girl hanging i don't know how close you're supposed to do it but i'm just outlining it really not trying to cut the image close and so Okay, there's another one. And it looks like, I hope I have enough foam. But I should. I only got three more to go. I'm so excited to stamp these out, y'all. I'm telling you, don't sleep on Goodwill. You can find some good stuff up in Goodwill, even for the crafting community. They have a lot of people, I guess. I don't know if these people die. I don't know if these people just stop crafting, 
But you can go up in there and you can hit the mother low sometimes. Because I feel like I hit it when I see these bug stamps. I was like, ah! So there's a couple of sites that I follow on Instagram. And these ladies have different bug stamps. And I don't know why I like them. I just like them. And I always say if I ever could find where to purchase some, I would. Because y'all know I don't do on, on online purchasing. So when I saw this, I tell you, they that wait on the Lord. <laughs> yes, he will give you the desires of your heart. Because when I saw this, I almost screamed in that Goodwill store. I know them people was looking at me because I started jumping. And honey, I was like, yes, you would have thought that I have found a hundred dollars. But honey, finding something that you like. All right, so this is what's left. I hope I'm doing this right. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this back off of here. And I'm just going to try and tape them down the best I can. And see how they fit. It's fitting. I just want to. I'm nervous now, y'all. Really? Okay, let's take them off. I know that this is the sticky back part. Because I tested it with my finger. So I guess you're supposed to peel this back. And I guess we just supposed to. Lay them down. Mm -mm. See, I done did that. Okay. Put that there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm like <sighs> hyperventilating here. What is really going on? I'm going to put this here. Yeah, I hope I'm doing this right. But I'm going to tell you one thing. If I don't do it right, I'm still going to stamp with these stamps. If I got to just stamp them bare. I ain't for to play with it. I'm not going to play with it. Because I like these stamps. Let's see. <laughs> Okay, y'all, I got two more to go. I hope I did this right. Again, if you know anything about Okay. Now I'm going to put this back on here. Just like that, just to try to make sure they glue down. I don't know if this is the right way, y'all. I should have looked, tried to look it up on YouTube before I did this. I didn't even think about that. But it don't matter. I already told you what I'm going to do. If it don't work, I will. And now I'm kind of glad I got these Tim Holt stamps scissors because you know it don't uh, don't adhere to nothing alright this is the first one so now I'm going to try to go around this block right and Trim it out. Okay, I'm going to stop trying to do like all of the little curves and just 
do it like that because this is really sticky <laughs> y'all <laughs> I'm so excited I'm ready to stamp okay I mean, this stuff is real sticky. Okay. Ooh-wee. And I was a cr creative memory consultant. I do not recall them ever having blue stamps so it must have been these must be really old this is like even before my time of being a consultant because i do not recall them having blue rubber not at all Okay, y'all. That's four. Two more to go. Then we gonna put some ink down. I definitely got to clean these scissors when I get finished with this project. Because when I say this foam is sticky. This foam is real sticky. Look at my scissors. So Tim's stamps live up to his word. It ain't, it's not making me like so gooey that I can't stamp. I mean, it is really the adhesive on these, this uh, foam some good adhesive okay all right y'all <laughs> put that to the side and let me see if I did this right so these are the stamps now what I'm probably gonna do if I did adhere these right for these edges I'm probably gonna take some powder I'm gonna have to take some powder to powder those edges because they are super super sticky all right let's get some ink i'm excited i'm glad y'all rock with me if you're still in this video we're gonna use some ink uh let me get a, a block i can use this block right here i'm gonna be nothing special i don't see none of my smaller blocks okay so as a matter of fact i could put let's start with this long one so I know you're supposed to take this off. This is the side that should be adhered to the block. Y'all, this stuff is super sticky. I have to put some powder on these edges. All right, let's see what this print gonna look like. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Are y'all really ready? All right, here we go, y'all. Here we go. And you know, usually ru uh, rubber stamps give you good impressions. So, oh, y'all see that? Oh, baby. Oh, let's do it again. Oh, y'all, I'm excited. <laughs> let's do this again. Oh, my, did y'all see it? Did y'all see? Oh, I love it. I love it. I think I did it right, y'all. I think I did it right. All right. Let me go see some of my other little buggy bugs. Well, the good thing. Of, oh, let me take the. Look, I'm trying to put it on there. It didn't even take the back off. Let me take the backs off. 
I got to put, ooh, my fingers is sticky. So I'm going to have to put that powder on these edges. Oh, y'all, this was a good buy. $2.99 for what I had been looking for or I wanted the opportunity to purchase. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to put these in my journal because that's what I wanted them for, to be in my journal. Okay, I was able to put three of these on here. At the same time, let's ink them up. I'm using my archival ink. Just whatever I have right over here. We're going to ink these bad babies up to see what the, what it is, what it's going to be. I'm so excited, y'all. Do not sleep on the Goodwill. That's all I got to say. Honey, the Goodwill is just what it is, the Goodwill. Okay, let's see how this impression. I'm excited. Oh, y'all. Perfect. Baby, I hit the jackpot. <laughs> oh, okay, y'all. I got two more to show with you show, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you excited for me? Please be excited for me. I think I got it right my first time without doing a YouTube video. My first time mounting rubber stamps. I'm excited. I got to find them other stamps now, y'all, and see what I did. Let me scoot this over. All right, these is the last two in this set. I'm finna ink them up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I must put, I'm going to use some of that powder because it's um too sticky around a little bitty edges. Oh, this is heaven. I could try to trim it out some more, but I don't want to mess up nothing, so I think I'll just use, oh, perfect. Y'all see that? Oh, my goodness. O-M-G. Look at there. All right, I got one more stamp to do. And this was a 50 cent stamp from the same company. And it appears that this is like an original created by, handmade by, limited edition of. So I think I'm going to just Leave this on here like this. Stick it down to the to the sticky part and then cut. Okay, y'all see what I did? I just put the whole stamp, but then I think I'll cut them in three pieces like this. Okay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is now you know I want to stamp. Because I just want to see the impression. So let me find a piece of paper. I'm going to color these bugs in. So I used some of my um, artist paper on that. Paint. That's an um, artist painter's paper that I used on that. On this one, I'm just going to use this piece of paper. Because this is just like a script stamp. So I just want to see how it's going to stamp out and I will do the cutting out oh my gosh y'all look I love it an original created by handmade by limited edition of yes I love it I don't know what this number thing was it say 2902 and it came out backwards so That'll be cut off, but this is the second stamp that I got for 50 cents, so I like that. And I'll just cut it, you know, and make three different individual stamps. Or I could leave it as whole, and I can just um, always, when I'm getting ready to use it, 
I can mask whichever one I want to use. So say I just want to do the um, create only. I could just put that there like that, I guess. And then just do this, right? Take this off. And let's see. And have that. But then I wouldn't want this edge. So I do need to cut the edge off. Even if I want to leave these three together. I need to cut the edge off. And that's what I'll do. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for rocking with me. I just wanted to come on here, show y'all my goodwill find. I'm so excited. I'm going to color these in and show y'all how I, um, what you call it, put the um, foam on the stamps because they was just, there was regular rubber stamps. They were unmounted. That's the word that I'm looking for. So I just want to share with y'all my little experiment. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you think. If I did something wrong or something that I should do next time I have to mount stamps, please leave it in the comments. Love y'all. Keep creating and stay blessed.